Hi friends, in our earlier video, we had referred to health supplements and medicines. Medicines, of course, is a no-no. Health supplements, it's okay. But one must understand in a health supplement, the active component, the active nutritional element is in a very small dosage and it is accompanied mostly by fillers. I mentioned the fillers in my previous video. But here on, we should try to understand if this is the identified nutritional deficiency in me. So instead of taking a box of tablets or capsules, I should go for food. To give you one example, for example, magnesium. You have a bottle of magnesium for health supplements. No, you should not take that. I mean, avoid that. Instead, you should take foods which have magnesium. For example, palak. So eat lots of palak. Besides magnesium, it has got other nutritional elements also. But I just as an example, I'm telling you. Magnesium helps the various enzymes in our body assist the enzymes in chemical reactions, giving us uh, building proteins, strong bones, also regulating blood sugar and blood pressure. And also is very good for nerves. So once you eat this food instead of supplements on a regular basis. Now, even sarsoga sag, which has got a lot of uh, magnesium. So, just go for food, understand the food and indulge. Now, suppose you have palak paneer, a very famous, very popular with the vegetarians. It's an ideal thing. Between the two, you can have so many, you can have abundance of minerals, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus from these two, th uh, two things. So, my friends, take seasonal vegetables instead of health supplements. Prevention is better than cure. Don't reach a level where you have to uh, take these health supplements. Forget about medicines. This is a no-no. I'm repeating. Health supplements can be avoided. You don't have to pop up the day. If you eat the right food, you don't have to be in the chemical. All the chemicals in the food will not only uh, affect the nutritional intake, but will also harm you otherwise. So it's very important to know your uh, foods. I'm, I, I will not remember, so I'll rattle out a few things what a spinach has got. So spinach has got 15% potassium vis-a-vis -vis sodium 3%. That means almost five times more potassium. So look at it. It's very good for BP as well. It's got 5% protein. It's very rich in dietary fiber, therefore very good in cellulose. It's very rich in vitamin C. It's got 9% calcium of the total mineral content. It's got 15% iron. When I say, and magnesium, 19%. It's got vitamin B6, 10%. So when I say these percentages, no, not actual percentages. So you have to understand that. So anybody having a shortage of magnesium should not go for health tablets, should not go for health supplements, should go for palak. Or usi tarike se agar aap paneer bhi lete hain, 100 grams of protein will have approximately 18 grams of, sorry, 100 grams of paneer of cow's milk will have approximately 18 grams of protein, 20 grams of fat, 208 milligrams of calcium, and about 140 grams of phosphorus. So my friends, relate your nutritional elements to your food. That is important. But ha, dobara mein repeat karta hu, aapka palak naturally grown hana chahiye. Jaise hum log hogate hain, the way we were farms ke andar, paneer, Desi gai ke dood se phata hua hona chahiye, raw milk se, not pasteurized milk se, in order to have its nutrition, uh, complete nutrition retained. So these are two important things. You have it and you see an uh, effect and the impact on your health in a few weeks time. So eat regularly, good seasonal vegetables. You can order on the way we were farms. You can WhatsApp us. You have our numbers. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Bye-bye.